But now we're gonna go sibling rivalry. So in a lot of sports, uh, you know, we're talking about parents, but also the parent is able to raise two children that are playing successfully in sports. And sometimes they get into, I don't wanna say bitter rivalries, but come on, who's your biggest rivalry growing up? It was probably your brother or sister yeah. or whoever it was. So Rich, I'm gonna start with you. What's the biggest rivalry you think out there with siblings? Oh, gotta go with the Williams sister, the I biggest agree. one. I agree. The big, that's the biggest one. And I think it's because also tennis is one-on-one. One, on one. Right. one on one, but they have also played doubles together to great success. Both of them have been so successful. It's almost like, to your point, a game of one-upsmanship. Yeah. Who does it better? One year, the, uh, Venus is super dominant. The next year, Serena. It's like they, they just keep trading on and off. And it, isn't tennis pretty funny that uh, what happens is that you have the moment where you can play competitively against your sister, and then you have the moment where you could play alongside of her. Right. So, I, you know, there are not many sports that you can just switch, switch. back and forth mm. like that. But And they had a rivalry where, I think when it first came up, Venus was... Was more, yeah, was And now more Serena's dominant. just the most dominant possible one tennis athlete. player. Well, I, I'm I mean, just you're right. athlete Actually, of all thank you. sports. I tried yeah. to up it to just tennis player. You're right. Yeah. You're up, she's just maybe the most dominant athlete... In any sport, In her sure. generation, you know, so she's kind of eclipsed that... She's kind of put that sibling rivalry to bed a little bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> but because to do that with someone against who someone so like good. Venus, yeah, yes. uh, that, that shows the transcendent that, that level That was the talent. amazing thing about their rivalry. They were both successful. Yeah. Like, we talk about Steven and Seth. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, Seth's, you know, Seth's, he's hanging on. Steph, he doesn't come close to how great Steph is, you know, a transcendent player. Yeah. Um, but Venus and Serena were both transcendent in their own at right. The, they were at both the same great. time. And then Serena just... Uh, yeah you know, eventually showed that she's one of the greatest. Great and, sibling uh, pair. Was it 16 Grand Slams? I think Something she like that. You know, and she had one when she was pregnant, so that's just one of the most <laughs> remarkable. <laughs> like, that's honestly one of the most remarkable. She just shows up and just punches That's one the of car. the most remarkable things in sports that I, can, I can't even fathom. Like, did even people know each other? I'm pregnant, and I just won the Australian Open. That's okay. All right, let's yeah, keep going. One of the hottest, like, <laughs> tournaments. Yeah, let's, just, let's just keep going, but... Uh, but, uh, Eli and uh, and Peyton, that's a rivalry. Know. And you throw Archie in there for the sports family thing, so that that's sort of ingrained in their blood. You have to know, like, when Eli won that second Super Bowl, Peyton's just kind of sitting there like... He got two uh, before him. Yeah, they're, yeah. but but how He's awkward older. is that at the dinner table? <laughs> exactly. You know? Because, and Peyton, but, he was so much better. Yes. He was. Yeah, he had yeah, better d- numbers. No doubt. And Eli's put up great numbers if you yeah. look at his career, but... Payton. He's a serviceable Payton. quarterback. <laughs> Payton is pain. Let's not get into it. He's better than serviceable. Oh, I, I, you okay. know, this, this right. is an argument, right. but let's... But <laughs> it's okay. Let's say, so I'm going to get to a rivalry with you. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Payton is just a... Payton is better than Eli, but when... You're right, when Eli won that second one, Payton, it was kind of... Might have been awkward, you know? Yeah. You're at Thanksgiving dinner, and you're... Uh, and, and now I think people were talking about, like, him. oh, God, is Eli going to make the Hall of Fame before, like, you know, is yeah. he a Hall of Famer more than Peyton? Like, it's just ridiculous conversation yeah. because he won two. But for sure. You have, you have siblings who won the Super Bowl years after each other, which is remarkable. You had Venus and Serena playing against each other in Grand Slams, which is remarkable. You had John and Jim Harbaugh coaching against each other in the Super Bowl. Again, which I'm is, I say the word again, awesome. but remarkable. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did awesome. uh, Tiki Barber and Rondé Barber ever play against each other in the Super Bowl? They've played Not against the each other. So, like, was, but they've played yeah. both in the Super Bowl, which is, right. again, and they're twins playing in the Super mm-hmm. Bowl. So that's pretty great. That, Sp- I'll let Steve Spe- Tuggler talk to the twins. Twins, yeah. twins triggered it. You, you brought it up earlier. The Sandine brothers, you know, Daniel and Henrik Sandine, being drafted number two and three by the same team. Which is which crazy. Is insane. That you would have number two and number exactly. three. Uh, one being a great playmaker, Henrik, you know, being in the 800 assist score category, and his brother being in the you know 400 goal scorer Daniel. area, yeah, and just being able to they played their entire career together on the same team, on the same line, for the, too, for on the same line, I mean, everything that's together. Also, got to be super beneficial to them in their career. Yeah, they have that twin yeah. ESP thing where they just they, they they've been playing together since they were they're identical twins, so they've been mm-hmm. playing together since they were fetuses so they just <laughs> they instinctively know where they're going and so you, yeah it's ho- cool. i don't know it's sort of like i'm a huge hockey guy but yeah, yeah. like well, it's one of those sports where you know right instinct is like it's everything yeah you know that's like, why a guy like wayne gretzky was a terrible coach 
because he can't teach what he did. Also, I say, he just did it. I want to say also Wayne Gretzky was like not the most physically athletic dude. Yeah. And by the way, he had a brother who played Brent Gretzky. <laughs> no one ever talks about Brent Gretzky. Just I saying. bet you they have the most points combined for any sibling. I think Brent yes, has yeah, like probably. 12 you, career goals. It doesn't matter. I bet you they have the most goals for siblings combined. Yeah, but, Wayne has so many. There you go. But yeah, I, you know, I most of the time I feel like the greatest players don't make the best coaches because of that natural instinct that you can't you teach. can't coach like. Jordan wouldn't be a good basketball no, coach. He wasn't because a very he, good he would be, executive either. He would be, yeah. Barely He'd a be good, barely a good things executive. from people that they just can't get. Sadine, one was a center and one was a wing. One was correct? a center and one was a winger, yeah. So oh. they, they fed each other. Most of their, I don't know the statistic off the top of my head, but their scoring tandem is probably one of the number one in terms so of. So would you have rather been, before we move on to the total families, would you rather have been like the Williams sisters where you can play each other, but then also switch it and then, you know, play on the same side? Because there's always that rivalry when you're yeah. growing up. Or would you rather be like the Sedin twins, always playing with, always on the same line, never competing against each other? For me, I'm a competitive person, so I would go with the Williams because I would like to be able to go to Christmas dinner and be like, hi, I got you this year <laughs> and next year, but still have that sort of, you know, us against them mentality when, mm -hmm. we, when we were to play doubles. Mine, it's, am I a twin in this situation? If, <laughs> sure. I'm, if okay. I'm a twin, then yes, like, I want to be competitive. I want to be, be on different teams. Like, oh, but if you're not a twin. If not a twin, if, like, if I'm an older brother. or like, want to be on the yeah, same team. Yeah, like, yeah, that'd okay. be cool. Like, okay. I, thought, I, thought the, I thought the answer was going to be reversed yeah, where you so said twin, I. but what about I like you? It. I, I think I'm I'm gonna go with uh, what Steven said. No exclusive twin and No, I, I think twin I think matters. It, it's like I yeah, I'm the better half. <laughs> I, like, if it was just playing against my sibling, I don't know. But the fact that you could play against them, but yeah. then play on the same side, I like that little bit of both. In there. And especially if you have the talent and the skill of both of those women, yeah. then <laughs> exactly. I'll take that. I agree. I'll take I agree. I'll take that. Go Brett's side.